Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look of the Sony Xperia T mobile phone. A big, big thank you to Vodafone.co.uk for sending this out for me. Just a very quick look on the back, we can see here we've got the Bravia engine inside here. It's capable of capturing 1080p video and it's also got a 13 megapixel camera. Now I'll run through some more of the specifications as I unbox it. This is a dual core processor, so this is not one of the quad core phones, although it's a new release, this is a mid-range phone, and that dual core processor is running at 1.5 gigahertz. So let's have a look inside the box. So this is what we're first presented with, really nicely packaged. This is the phone itself, we just pop that to one side, have a look inside the rest of the box, see what else we get. And again, really nicely presented. Great to see Sony providing a screen protector in here. Also got a little applicator card and a polishing cloth. Next up, we have got some information. Let's have a look at this. So we've got some info about a 40% discount on a TV docking kit. Then we've got 40% discount on a multifunction Bluetooth audio headset. They obviously want to sell some accessories. We have got a startup guide. This is going to guide us through getting everything up and running and an introduction to the phone. Some important information and some SAR information. And that's it when it comes to the paperwork. Moving on, we have got here, let's grab my handy little knife. This is the headset. This looks really nice compared to other headsets I've seen. We've got a little extra pack here with a little clip and some different size silicon earbuds. Then we've got the headset itself. This looks really nicely constructed. A little bit different to some of the standard ones we see in some mobile phones. And we've got a built-in sort of control, remote control here with some buttons on it for making and taking calls and doing sort of volume up and down. And then we've got a little pinhole mic on the back, the earpieces themselves, and then a right angle three and a half millimeter audio jack. Moving on. We've got the cable, and this is going to be a full-size USB cable on one end. And then on this end, we have got a micro USB connection. Then we've got the wall charger, USB socket here. We're in the UK, so this is a three-pin UK charger. This sort of extends up for plugging it in, and then goes back down for portability. So that's it in the box. Now let's have a look at the Xperia T itself. Now I already mentioned that this is a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor in here. It's running ice cream sandwich out of the box, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's a very, very nice looking handset. Let's peel this off. We have got here a 4.55 inch or 4.6 inch, they're quoting, capacitive touchscreen running at 1280 by 720. So really nice sort of size phone. Let's just put that up against the iPhone 5 just to have a look. So obviously a lot bigger than the iPhone 5, a bit taller, a bit wider, and then on the thickness, yeah, a little bit thicker as well, but not too much bigger than the iPhone 5. And don't forget, we're getting this 4.55 inch screen. Now we've got front facing camera here, which is 1.3 megapixels. We've also got the little pinhole microphone here earpiece at the top and some sensors and then on this side direct access to the camera volume up and down power on and off little cover here which covers the uh, sim card and also the uh, micro sd card slot now this has got one gigabytes of ram 16 gigabytes of storage and then you can put up to a 32 gigabyte micro sd card in here as well the sim card looks like it's a micro sim so let's close that up and then we go onto the top, another microphone on the top here, and then also the three and a half millimeter audio jack round on this side, the charging point, and on the bottom it's completely clear. Just while we're in this side profile, you can see there's a slight curve to the handset as well. Round on the back, this is the exciting bit. Well, we've got a speaker here, and just up the top here, we've got the flash and a camera. This camera is 13 megapixels. Yep, you heard me right, 13 megapixels. Now, there's no way to get into the battery. The battery is quoted to be 1850 milliamp hours. So let's turn this on and see if we've got any power in here, which we have. And we have a first look at the Sony Xperia T starting up. 
While this is starting up, I should also let you know that this is Ice Cream Sandwich, so Google Android version 4.04 .04 out of the box, and it's got the Sony Timescape UI over Google Android. So we're starting up for the first time, and we'll walk you through. We can unlock, and we're going to be presented with some startup screens. Uh, let's cancel that one, and we're going to select United Kingdom. No SIM card. We don't care at this stage, we just want to have a look at it. Wow, that looks nice. I really do like these displays on the Sony phones. And this is offering up a 323 ppi pixel density, 1280 by 720 resolution. And we can swipe between the screens. Yeah, it's a little bit stuttery, not too bad, but it seems fairly responsive. Let's have a look at the pre-installed apps. We've got some decent apps pre-installed, and don't forget this came from Vodafone.co.uk, so we've got some Vodafone apps on here as well. Looks really nice, actually. So let's have a look inside the gallery, just to see if we've got any uh, sort of pre-installed or pre-stored uh, pre photos to show you. So we have got some photos we can have a quick look at. Let's go into this folder here and switch around into this orientation. It's a nice looking screen. It seems a little bit dark at the moment. So let's go back out to the home screen and we will go into settings. Can we access settings from here? Yes, we can. It's going to display. It's going to brightness and we will just put the brightness up a little bit just so that we can see what this screen looks like. And let's go back into that album. And there we go. That's a lot better. Very, very nice screen. Definitely needed the brightness pumped up a little bit. And it seems a nice clarity to it, nice amount of contrast, looking good on the Sony Xperia T. So I'm going to be putting this phone through its paces. I'm going to be doing a HD video sample next. So in about sort of three or four days time, you'll see an HD video sample and also a test of this 13 megapixel camera. And then you'll get my full review in about a week or so's time. This is a really nice feeling handset though, first impressions are good. I like the shape actually, it feels very very nice in the hand. Thank you very much for watching, this is the Sony Xperia T, courtesy of Vodafone.co.uk, please do check them out, check the links underneath this video, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one.